Welcome back everyone, John Panio here with another video. Today we had the new update that just dropped for March 16. We have some quality of life changes as well as some, I would say, nerfs, if you will, to EXP grinding. So I'm just going to briefly go over the main points. <laughs> so let's just jump right into it. So first and foremost, our battle pass rewards have been adjusted a little bit in the sense that it's a lot easier to complete your daily and weekly dungeons. When you log into the game, if you do your EXP dungeon, your thread dungeon, by default you will have completed all of your dailies. So do EXP, do thread dungeon, dailies are done. Weeklies, well, it's essentially the same. You do near dungeon once, you do your EXP and your thread dungeon once a day, and by default your weekly is done. Easy enough. Seasonal is seasonal, this will just get done eventually, but, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about this. Battle pass rewards, it'll be a lot easier to go through your battle pass, only because right now, it seems like with the changes to mirror dungeons, you're going to be getting higher progress for your Limbus pass, so from what I believe it was. Whoa... Oh, <laughs> Ooh, baby! All right, I was about to talk about this, but holy moly, Project Moon is fast. Okay, let's let's dial back. I was gonna rant about this video, but mm, Project Moon, you are my chef's keys. Okay, let me explain. Oh, sweet baby Jesus! Oh my God, Project Moon, you are best. Okay, we we need to. Roll it back. Let me explain. So, I did the EXP Luxcavation and it sucked. There's, there's no other way of explaining it. Thread, Lux, Thread Luxcavation? Okay. EXP Luxcavation? Oh my god, this thing was terrible. Let me explain why. Previously, in Dragon Ball Z, not nah, previously, in the Mirror Dungeon, when you completed your Mirror Dungeon, you would gain 10 EXP for or 10 gold EXP and 10 silver EXP for completing your Mirror Dungeon. This is with your weekly pass bonus EXP. Obviously, you got the nominal or random Ego Shards. That hasn't really changed, except except it being that now, instead of you getting 25 every week, you only get 24 if you're doing random. But if you're doing nominal, it stays the same with how the numbers work. Fine. But, but, what ended up happening was when you entered into Mirror Dungeon and you finished it, you would only consume three Ankafilin module and you'll be essentially getting that amount of EXP. And if you didn't have the bonus, you would be getting five of each EXP. And a gold ticket is a thousand and a silver ticket is of 200. So you'd be getting 6,000 EXPs worth of tickets if you were doing Mirror Dungeon without its bonuses. And that's without bonuses, okay? Now, if we go into EXP Luxcavation, 40. This sucked, okay? No way of explaining it. The reason is threefold. One, this is a three-wave battle with Guido at the very end. It is tough. I got through it, as you can see. I beat it, but it took some time. It wasn't like a clean run. It it was difficult, which was fine. I don't mind it being difficult, but the reward sucked compared to Mirror Dungeon because when you completed it with the bonus activated, you gain one gold EXP ticket and five silver EXP tickets, which equates to 2,000. And that's with the daily bonus. So if you did your daily bonuses, you get three gold tickets and you would get 15 silver tickets, which is less compared to your mirror dungeon. And mirror dungeon takes about 20 to 30 minutes to complete. On average, 20 is fast. Okay, 20 is fast. So on average, you're gonna be taking 30 minutes to finish your mirror dungeon. But in those 30 minutes, you would gain five gold ticket and five silver ticket. With the daily bonuses, this run takes 15 to 20 minutes to complete. 15 is on the fast side too, and the reason why it's because number one, it's a human battle, so you don't have the control over what your units do. Number two, three waves takes a long time. And number three, because of the unit composition here, you actually need to have units that are one, not fatal to blunt like you cannot have fatal units to blunt you will die in this dungeon if you have units that are fatal blunt you will get messed up two 
you want to use blunt units, and there's very limited units that are either normal or ineffective to blunt themselves, but who also do d blunt damage. Your options are pretty limited. Now, with that being said though, I'm actually okay if they don't nerf the stage itself. I would much rather them just up the amount of EXP tickets that you're going to be getting. And I'm excited because, oh baby, Project Moon is already, already, already on the ball with this. So, from what it looks like, they are changing it so that now we are going to be, as you can see, with the daily bonuses, you got one to five, which is terrible. Like, there's just no other way of explaining it. This, this, this was egregious and terrible. But now they're changing it, so with the bonuses, we're going to be getting 5 gold EXP and 5 silver EXP, which is which is akin to Mere Dungeon, but in its non-bonus phase. But I think that's okay, because we get to do this continuously. But the question is, okay, so even after 3 daily clears EXP ticket rewards, it's going to be a lot better. Instead of it being, as you can see, 1 to 0, oh god, it's going to be 3 to 3. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, Jesus, this is going to be good. But it looks like this will be better. Unlock requirements difficulty instead of three waves. As you can see, they're dropping it down to two waves. Oh, my Jesus. Okay, so I'm okay with it. I was actually okay with it being three waves. I was just not okay with the rewards. That was my biggest thing. The biggest thing was the rewards were just so minuscule for how difficult it was. Um, this interesting change. I'm okay with them not making it easier. I just wanted them to be give us more rewards. It was still challenging, but this is fine. I like it. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, EX Key Excavation 1 change. Alright, cool. So, uh, yeah, Project Moon, you guys are like so fast. When did you even drop this? This literally dropped. I swear to God. Just 10 minutes ago, and it is 1 a.m. That's insane. Wow. All right, cool. The feedback that they got was intense. Wow, 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 wow. Amazing. All right, cool. So now that they're getting the EXP fix, that's great. Uh, thread Luxivation, really want to go over it briefly. Right now, with the daily bonuses, you get six threads when you complete this. Uh, I'm assuming once the daily bonuses run out, you only get three threads. So honestly, realistically, you're probably better off just doing your dailies and grinding EXP Luxivation. That being said though, we do have a little bit of an issue though, Enkafilin modules. We don't really have a reason to be using our Enkafilin modules in the Mirror Dungeon outside of it just giving us progression for our battle pass. I don't know if it's worth it to just speed run your battle pass progression to get to the very end and then get Ego Shard crates at the end because as for each level you get, you're going to be getting, well, more threads. And I believe it's threads, it's not Ego Shard crates, so I'd have to double check. Anyways, you guys, very excited for the changes. I am shocked that they were able to really get that change fixed so fast that is that is an interesting thing but jesus christ i am baffled i honestly thought this was going to be a rant video in the regards of how much this stage sucked and for the amount of work that I was putting in and for the amount of exp is putting in but wow what a quick hot fix this is insane holy moly i am I don't know, I'm lost for words. I've never seen a company, like, ever roll out something where they done goofed up and they admit they goofed up and they're gonna get it fixed basically right away. If this was League of Legends, this is insane. Oh my god. If we're talking about like League of Legends, I don't know if you guys play League of Legends, but League of Legends is a big game. You guys probably heard of it, definitely heard about it. Whenever there's something that's broken, messed up, overpowered, it takes some a while to get things fixed and I don't mean a day or two it takes them a while project moon just whipped out the hotfix update oh my goodness this is something else 
Uh, bu 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 sometime today. Wow. So this is getting adjusted today. Crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah. All right. Everyone, let me know what you guys think about Project Moon. Obviously, I can tell you I beat the stage pre before the nerfs, so I am a true connoisseur, beat the stages before the nerfs, and now after the nerfs, you guys are but just plebs to me. Oh, can't compare. But in all seriousness, though, I'm actually glad they did the update. I'm actually super shocked that they were able to... I was super shocked that they were able to get these changes rolled out so quickly. I am so, so actually amazed. It is, this is exciting changes. Holy moly. Yeah, anyways, I really have nothing else to say. This was unexpected. I can tell you that right now. I am gushing, really in love with the company. Honestly, there's, there's just nothing good, nothing, nothing good or nothing bad I can really say. I mean, outside it got rolled out like this, which was pretty bad. Honestly speaking, I don't know why. You know what? Realistically speaking, I don't know why they don't get people to play this, play test these changes first. Because honestly, Project Moon, just come to me. Come to me and like, let me play the game before the updates come out. I can just tell you guys like, this would, did not feel great. <laughs> this now feels much better as someone who's, you know, uh, play a ton of games. Uh, but I will say one last thing though, Anka fill in modules, I have no idea what to do with these right now. I have 174 of these Anka fill in modules, don't know what to do with it. Probably just gonna grind mere dungeons, but oh my God, please give me some content to use my Anka fill in module. Anyways, as usual, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about the changes? Jesus, the hotfix came out hot and fast and furious, so. Golf clap, golf clap, golf clap. But I am excited for the changes. Oh, Jesus. There is nothing else I can say as usual. I uh, I have a job now, so I'll be, I'll be streaming only Monday to Fridays, most likely. I will set a schedule and put aside a few hours to stream every day for you guys, or try to stream every day, as I continue to post content online on YouTube. I stream on Twitch, so find me there. I also have a Discord community, so meet me there as well. I will. Yeah, see you guys next time. Jumping out, signing out. Nothing else good to say. Bye for now.